Okay, if I do this, wow, this is interesting. This is quite interesting. Guy, can you see that color already? The red bell chili pepper and the scotch bonnet pepper is inside there already, right? Yes. You know, from the last video, I was trying to let us know the benefits of our nutrition rainbow. Now, when we're talking about color, we're talking about brightly colored fruit. They come with their additional nutritional benefits and value. Now, this red color is very high in what we call lycopene. Lycopene. There are some people, some friends, families that are probably suffering from cancer or they are predisposed or they are diagnosed with cancer. When you take, okay, I think I'll post it. Yeah. So you want to blend want that? Just a little water. Just a little water. Blend it. Okay. Okay, guys, this is fantastic. Uh, how can I get some agusti? I, I'm searching for a site. There's a question uh, for the chef. There's a question just before you blend. Okay. Someone is asking, someone is saying here that I don't have the electric skillet. Can I use my pot to do the soup and also the, um, the moi moi? Secondly, can I put the moi moi leaf at the base before pouring the beans paste in the, in the electric skillet? Okay. All right, Mr. Marvel, thank you. I got the first question. What type of pot is the person using? We need to know. I don't know the kind of pot he's using. I'm not sure. Okay, so I don't, I don't think uh, the person has an electric skillet. So uh, what he's asking is, can they probably use any other salad master item? Yes, they can use any other salad master item to make their, their um, yeah. moi moi. Yes. Okay, but if it's not salad master, it won't work. Is that what you're saying? Exactly, yes. it will work. Okay, right. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, but can they put leaf? The, the leaf, she says, can she put a leaf at the bottom of the salad master system before no, she no, pours no. the paint in it? No, no, there's no leaf. She didn't add the leaf. No, can she put leaf if she wants to? No, 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 no. no. Okay, okay. No, 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 you can't put the leaf if you want to. Why using the electric skillet? Why using the electric skillet? Okay, fantastic. Yeah, right. I'm enjoying the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going right to blend in, Chef Jessica. So we're going to add more of the red pepper. Yes. Now depends on the color you want. Depends on the how color. sharp you want your melon soup to be. Wow. I'm making a very little melon soup, but I wouldn't be needing much. Much of it. Okay. Okay. That is super amazing. And we're going to be adding our onions too. Yes. So I was trying to share the health uh, nutritional benefits of our pepper. You know, the super red color makes it high in lots and lots of antioxidants that can help boost our immune system and prevent us from falling sick. So I guess we're good. Wow, 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 fabulous. That's, that's, it's already becoming super interesting. I'm so excited right here, right now. So I was just trying to share some of the health benefits from our red bell pepper and scotch bonnet pepper. They actually help to boost our immune system. Yeah. They boost our immune system. Some of us out there that probably don't like uh, sc uh, uh, spinach, uh, pepper, and the red pepper, they boost our immune system and prevents us from falling sick. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm going to do to that now? Well, first I have to work on that again. So uh, the chicken, I'm using the, I'm using our seven quarts. Wow, to seven make, pots. Uh, to okay. make a melon soup. This is what you like up to 10 people. Can feel like up to 10 yes, people. Yes, can feel like up to 10 people. Wow, this is interesting. So I'm making a lot of this is soup here today. Yes. I can't wait already. You might need to uh, take the lead. So what are we doing now, Chef Jessica? I'm going to be, like I said earlier before, I'm going to be steaming this, uh, the pepper I blended with the chicken, with the, chicken. the stock fish and the... Uh, Right. Okay, by the way, I noticed you removed the skin yes, from this chicken. Skin. Yeah, okay. Now, guys, should be wondering, like I did ask her, she removed, you can continue. She removed the skin from the chicken. Now, chicken is animal based protein. Chicken, no oil. So, what is happening now is that we are not using any form of oil to even uh, simmer and process our chicken. 
Now that's because chicken itself is animal protein. It's had its own oil, so we don't even need to add extra oil. And that's the benefit of using a healthy cooking system. So we don't need to use extra oil that is not healthy. So this time around, we are using we, are, we, we preheated our cooker yeah. and then we added our chicken without the skin chicken, on. Without the skin on. So what are we doing now? We're covering it. So what are we doing to the chicken now? We're trying to, I think we're trying to fry the chicken. No, don't Okay, I'm going to be using my chicken broth. Oh, the chicken broth. Like, the chicken stock soup. Okay. It's already boiled. I boiled the stock fish too. Oh, fabulous. Get out of it. Fabulous. So we're going to open this now. Wow, this is interesting. Wow, look at that. Guys, I trust you are looking at this and you are super amazed. You are super amazed. So just like we had our fish broth, now we also have our chicken broth, very nutritious. And then we have the chicken itself without the skin on. So we have literally released, uh, reduced the amount of oil. I know that also contains a lot of oil to add. Exactly. Well. You know, so I get questions from some people saying that my doctor says I should eat healthy and I should reduce the amount of oil I'm consuming. So assuming we're making this egg soup, we would have added oil. oil. Palm oil or vegetable oil, I don't know. But this time around, there is no oil. So you have actually reduced the calorie intake of your egg soup. Yes. And then we are taking the animal based oil out of it completely. So, what we are going to be using is plant based oil, which is more healthy. So, for someone that is using plant based oil from the melon itself, the melon is super healthy. Like I was explaining earlier, our egusi is very high in polyunsaturated fatty acids and good amounts of essential amino acid that the body does not produce. But it helps to increase uh, a good cholesterol level, which is the HDL, high density lipoprotein, and reduce the bad cholesterol level, which is the LDL. So, for anybody out there that you know, friends and family that have heart issues, anything related to the heart, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and the likes, a good soup is actually very good. Now, when they cook it in a healthy way, like we are teaching them, is actually very yeah, good. Very Not good. when you use palm oil mm -hmm. and when you have preheated the palm oil. Exactly. So I guess you want to add something. Yes, I want to add my dry smoked fish. Dry smoked fish. They all steam together. Wow, this is interesting. So we're adding our dry smoked fish. Like I was explaining earlier too, our fish is actually high in omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. And these are super healthy. The body actually needs them to function well. Now, when you eat, like, what are we adding again? We're adding the stock fish. We're adding the stock fish. Guys, like I said, this is going to boost your immune system because this is super nutritious. We have lots and lots of good amounts of protein going inside this meal. So, we have healthy fats and we have healthy protein going inside this episode. So we're going to allow it to see. I'm going to add the sea salt then. I'm oh, the sea salt. Wow, fantastic. Like I said earlier when we were making the moi moi, sea salt is actually very nice. very healthy. It's high in sodium chloride and it actually helps people. So we're going to be using very little, I guess. Very little, yeah. So just about a teaspoon. I'm using a teaspoon because it's very, very sharp. Because it's very sharp. Because it's very sharp. And then uh, I guess we're adding the cajun spice as well. No, we're not adding the cajun just spice. The cajun spice is just for when you are making your stew, your sauces, and okay. maybe frying egg, but not for native soups. Native soup. Yeah. Wow, this is becoming interesting, guys. I hope we have your brand and paper and you're taking note of all of these super amazing health tips we are giving you here. So, so some of us at home will feel like I can't eat this soup because it's so much oil. Yes, that's true. The way you cook it at home, it is so much oil because you have all the oils in there. But the way we are teaching you to cook it healthy here, we are taking away the bad oil and then we are leaving the good oil that your body actually needs to function properly. So you still need oil, which is the good oil that you get from your EGC naturally. I guess we have our EGC here already. Yes. So we have it dried up. Yes, we have wow. it too. 
already branded as you can see. So I'll be using our our gravy to to roast the or to fry or to roast. The eleven square gravy. The eleven square gravy to roast the melon. To roast the melon. No, I'll get used for you to get to fry or to take and see that no oil, no drop of oil. So I'll be using the eleven square gravy to. Wow. This is super amazing. This is super amazing. Trust me guys, I know you want to try this at home. So instead of using oil, you know, I can cut oil to roast or to fry your melon. So without oil, you can actually use your 11 square grid to achieve that purpose as well. And you can also use it to fry egg without oil even your plantain. You can use it to fry your eggs and plantain without oil. Pancakes. Wow, wow, that is super amazing. So when I see this 11 square gravy, I feel that, what can I use it for? So it has lots and lots of purpose yeah, yeah, that I can benefit using it. Wow, this is interesting. So we are gradually, guys, we are gradually trying to roast or fry our dried and you see, instead of using oil. Now, I would, okay, just like you have here, every time you eat, you are either feeding disease or fighting the disease. We have an unhealthy heart here, okay, and we have lots of oil saturated in the heart. And that's because we are consuming bad oil. We have in our arteries here lots of bad oil which will increase and elevate the cholesterol and elevate the blood pressure as well. But once you consume your good oil from your plant-based oil, like we see here, uh, what we are doing to our egusi, which is all natural, you get Instead of elevating the bad oil in the body, what we are going to be doing is to reduce the bad oil from the body. And Jessica, you know something? It smells nice. Yeah, I love the aroma I'm getting from this already. You know, so do you know that once uh, someone that is, uh, that is diagnosed of blood pressure or cholesterol, once the person eats in such a way, in a very short period of time, the cholesterol level will balance will actually balance because you are getting the good oil instead of the bad oil. Yeah. I can hear something ticking. Yes, it's showing that it's that you know that we have to cook from medium click low. So we are cooking from medium click low. So we are not cooking from high heat. We are not cooking from high heat. So we have to reduce the temperature. You can see the vapor valve. So this is called the vapor valve. Yeah. So the vapor valve is ticking. At what temperature? At what temperature is that ticking? At 86 degrees. Wow. So definitely when you are cooking with this healthy cooking system and the temperature gets to 86, mm -hmm. the vapor verb will start taking. Okay. So meaning we need to turn from medium heat to low heat. Why, why, do we, why, why does it say? Why do we need it's to do because it's because of the high heat. Yes. That's our both that, so we have to reduce it. To, to 86 degrees. Yeah. And guys, you know the reason why we have to cook at a medium heat to low heat because when we cook at high heat, we literally destroy the medicine in our food. Now what we are trying to do here is to protect the medicine in our food, is to preserve the nutrition in our food because our food is our medicine. So once you can protect and preserve the nutrition, then your food cannot successfully be your medicine. So what this healthy cooking system has allowed us to do is to prevent us from losing our nutrients while we are cooking our high heat. So we don't get to cook on high heat. We get to cook from medium heat to low heat. And that's why you can hear the electric the vapor valve ticking. So let us know that the temperature is high enough to so not destroy the nutrients in our food. Wow. 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 This, is, this is super amazing. This is super amazing. Guys, you need to check this out. You need to actually try this at home. You need to try this. I love what I've seen already. So, so what I'm doing? I'm adding the melon now. So we are adding our fried melon. So into our paste. Wow. I love the color already. I love the way everything looks. And now that we've fried it naturally without oil, yeah. we don't need any form of oil. You can see that the melon Oh, the level spread is in the air. So I noticed it wasn't burnt at any So why didn't it burn? I'm sure that's because we're able to regulate the temperature. The temperature.
Okay, yeah, the titanium, because um, I realized that this um, healthy cream system is actually made of titanium, 316 titanium. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So that actually helps to regulate the heat. So we're adding a little water. water because it's thick. Okay. So guys, another thing about the quality of um, this um, healthy cooking system is that it protects the quality and the purity of what we are cooking in. So we are actually trying to make our food a mess. Now this common uh, goosey soup that we would eat on our everyday, we we'll go to parties and eat, but when we eat it such ways, it's not healthy. But this time around, we are cooking this in such a way that it's going to be healthy, we have healthy fats in there. And then the healthy cooking system that we are using is protecting the quality and most importantly, the purity of the food we are cooking in there. So it allows it to be the medicine and not the poison. It allows our food to be the medicine. So this will actually take care of our body. This will actually take care of our body. I'm super getting excited here already. Trust me guys, I can't even wait to eat from this sumptuous, delicious and most importantly, healthy meal we are cooking right here. We've had super, super amazing healthy recipe combination here. We have our fish, uh, lots of different fish that we have, our stock fish, our dry fish, our titus fish, which are all good source of proteins. And like I was explaining earlier, proteinous food actually helps to repair worn out tissues. It helps to build our tissues. It helps, it keeps us going, it boosts our immune system. And then we have again some of our onions and our garlic and ginger. They are super healthy, amazing food as well. It prevents us from falling sick. We get a most important good source of oil. Just, just, just what are we doing again? Next, I'm going to be adding the blended crayfish. The blended crayfish, oh my god. So I think I observed something, Chef Jessica. I can't see any form of Maggie feel some kind of Maggie or something around. Okay. Maggie, any Maggie at all. No Maggie at all. Nothing artificial. Nothing. All natural. So we are going to be adding our grinded crayfish. Wow. This is super amazing. I'm sure most of us at home are familiar with our normal crayfish. So this has just been blended into dry paste. And this will actually aid the flavor. Yes, the flavor and the taste. It gives it a very good aroma. It gives it a very, I can feel it already. I feel like taking this already. Feel yeah. the aroma already. I can feel it already. And guys, you can see the color. You can see the color. So you don't actually need your palm oil to give it the color. Because your palm oil is saturated fat. And you don't want to add bad fats inside your food. So we cover the leaf. Actually, uh, crayfish is also very nutritious in the fish family. They have lots and lots of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. They have lots and lots of proteins in them. They actually help the muscles. They help growth. They help to boost our immune system as well. And then they actually boost the immunity too. Thank you, Mr. Marvel. also on Facebook, we are connected on Facebook, and uh, we have a question from Facebook, someone is asking, that they came late on the show, can you please just go over the recipe again for the one point, and also the music quickly please. Okay, so they need us to recap on the recipe for the one point. Right, right, right. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to do that with uh, Chef Jessica, so some people came late for the show, so they need a recap on the recipe for our healthy one point. Okay, for the uh, for the moi moi without oil, for the recipes we have uh, red bell uh, red, red bell pepper. pepper. We have chili. chili pepper. We have uh, onions. We have ginger, ginger garlic, garlic uh, the fish bones, salt, the fish bones, sea salt, a lot of onions, and um, then for I use uh, I use to garnish. I use boiled eggs and fish. Okay. Yeah, so those are the major ingredients that were in the moi moi. So after blending all those to make them in a paste, now don't forget we add our fish bone. Sometimes when we are at home, we discard our fish bone. Forgetting the fact that they are highly nutritious, they have lots and lots of calcium in there. 
and then we start buying supplements here and there. But guess what guys, we added everything into this fabulous, amazing, super moment that I can't wait to eat already. And eating is such way will actually boost our health. It will always make us healthy and not falling sick of any kind of disease or ailment. And guess what, our moin moin that we have made today is good for someone that has been diagnosed with cholesterol or blood pressure of any kind because there is no oil of any kind in it. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Tim. The next we'll be adding the hot leaf, locally known as Uziza leaf. So we're adding our Uziza leaf. I'm sure some of us are familiar with the Uziza leaf. Uziza leaf. It's you a soup. It, yeah. You can use it for your obono. Okay, you can use it for okra. You can use it for vegetable soup. You can use it for pepper soup. You can use it for your onion cottage. And uh, you can also use it for melon, which I'm using right now. Wow, wow. It has a very really nice aroma. Wow, this is interesting. You know, um, I'm just going to share a few benefits of our greens because uh, like uh, from earlier we said we are doing a furry room. So we are going to be doing a whole lot of super greens. You know, so the green family is very good. Now they have lots and lots of amazing, super amazing nutritional value and benefits that we can maximize from. You know, because of the color alone. The green color alone, it gives us chlorophyll, you know, and we need that in our bloodstream. It helps us, for some people that have issues like um, sickle cell anemia and the likes, when you take your green, you take lots of green, it actually helps your system. And then it boosts your immunity as well. So after adding the I'm just going to leave it like two minutes before we add the pumpkin leaf. The, the pumpkin leaf one. itself, which is the last one. So, while we are adding the pumpkin leaf, I'm going to share more health benefits and value from our green, from our super green food as well. So that we can know that when we are eating, we are eating for medicine, we are eating, we are eating for health, we are eating to boost our immune system, we are eating to make sure that we are able to fight and uh, reverse most lifestyle diseases that some people are already going through at the moment. And for those that are trying to, to be health conscious and prevent any of these lifestyle diseases, your food is powerful enough. But guess what? You need to take care of your food, which is what myself and Je Jessica are doing right here. Yeah. We are taking care of our food so that our food can do what? Take care, can of, take care of us. Exactly. Fabulous. So we are waiting for about a minute or two. Yeah, that's good. We still have to be adding that right now. Okay, we need to pumpkin. add our pumpkin leaf. Yes, so right about now we're going to be adding our super pumpkin leaves, which is uh, popularly known as ugu. It's known as ugu. So ugu is super amazing. In the Yoruba land, in Lagos, people are wondering like, ah, my ugu, what nutritional benefit, how do I benefit from eating ugu? We have loads of amazing health and nutrition benefits from just our ugu. Now, just like every other grain, they are iron. iron. They are iron. Folate and they are added in lots of people. I'm about to add it now. Yeah, I'm about to add it now. Okay, wow, 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 this is super amazing. This is super amazing. Yeah, thank you so much, Mr. Tony. I have to just tear this, then I'll put it down because the soup is already it's ready. The soup is ready. Yeah, to retain the nitro percent of the nutrients. So, you know what, Chef Jessica, I observed that the amount of time we use in cooking this is very fast. Very, very the, the, the cooking process didn't take time at all. How come? How, how do you think that's possible? Because we're cooking the salad master cook well, it's very fast, very easy to use. Okay. Yeah, so I think everyone should get it. Okay. So and and the most important thing that you retain the ninety three percent of the nutrients from your food. food. Yes, yes. I can see the color. Because the more colorful your food is, the more vitamins are in there. So guys, trust me, you want to make sure that while you are cooking, you retain your color. Because we love so much color. When you have lots of color in your food, you have more nutrients in your food. So, and I observe another thing that the time it's taking to cook this is very short. We are not taking time at all. In the space of 10 to 15 minutes, you are done cooking your ebusi soup. Unlike when you are cooking normally in the house with oil, taking all the time, and you know, and then at the end of the day, you are not getting as much nutritional benefit and value for your food. But in a short space of time, we've been able to cook our egusi soup with all the nutrients intact, the color itself intact. So thank you, Mr. 
that today has Thank you. that the medal is ready. Wow. Our egusisu is ready. Guys, you can see the color. It is bright enough. 